Hello, I'm Margaret Harris with Nikayla. Trophy hunting, its impact on wildlife and people. This has probably been brought to the forefront as it hasn't for quite some time with the killing of Cecil the lion by the dentist out of the United States. This has been such a sad thing, that lion that so many people enjoyed watching and taking photographs will now no longer be seen. Trophy hunting. What is it? What is it really? Trophy hunting is the selective hunting of wild game and animals. Trophy hunting has firm supporters and opponents. Public debate about trophy hunting often centers on the question of the morality of sport hunting and the question of to the extent to which the money paid by the trophy hunters actually benefits the populations in game animals and the local economy. With regards to Cecil the Lion, a lot of things have come to the fore. Airlines have stood up and banned the shipment of animal trophies. UPS has said that they will stay out of this, so if you're against trophy hunting, please don't use UPS. Supposedly FedEx has also stayed away. But one of the good things that we have heard reports on is that Cecil's lion cubs and the females are still alive, and there's this video that you can watch of them there. It's a sweet video because one of the concerns is that once the male lion is killed another lion moves in and kills the cubs and threatens the, the lionesses. There of course has been an outrage. Some folks are really wanting to shame and name all trophy hunters at this point. Uh, possible legal action has been looked at for the American lion trophy hunters here involved why we can't listen to the trophy hunters. They try and tell us that they are wildlife conservationists, but if they really wanted to donate money to wildlife conservation, why not donate it? There's no need to kill the animals. The Lion Aid comes out very strongly and says, even calls them psychopaths. An Idaho woman who celebrates killing giraffes and others has, again, been called on the carpet, and here is our dentist who not only kills lions but has apparently killed numerous other big game. As you can see here, there are some airlines that have now banned shipment of hunting trophies who rave for them. South African Airways unfortunately is not one of them. There are cartoons that have been made, big game hunters, yes, and their big fat egos. Another article of why humans are Africa's absolutely worst enemy. Then, of course, there's not only the hunter himself that is in question here, but the guide that supposedly misguided him. He's in trouble. Hopefully there will be legal action there. Uh, CNN has gotten on board, has been telling the story. Unfortunately, they're also interviewing trophy hunters, who, of course, like to spin it differently. That it's that they're bringing money in, but, of course, that's just uh, a cover-up. Then there's this article that is probably of most value, is that they were studying Cecil and he had a collar and now he no longer can be studied. And this is really sad news for those that were actually studying and had gotten to know this lion. Supposedly as recently as last October they put a new collar on him. The president of Botswana is standing up again against sport hunting, thankful to him. Jane Goodall of course has come out and spoken against this killing. There have been some who have written odes in ballads and poetry and it also has brought to the forefront that about 40 lions get hunted in Zimbabwe every year with only about 20,000 left we just can't afford to be hunting these lions so hopefully something will, good will come of this and they will finally be put on the endangered species list which would give some more laws around this. Again, if you want to get access to these articles, please just click on the link that shows up on this video. And thanks for joining us, and do please do what you can in opposing anything to do with the hunting of wild animals. We have too few of them left to be doing this. Thank you so much.